All right, all right, Neil Ratner Rotak here with a story. On April 11th, 1961, Bob Dylan performed his first professional gig. It was in New York City as a special guest of John Lee Hooker at a music venue in Greenwich Village called Gertie's Folk City. Gertie's Folk City. And since Bob celebrated a birthday this past week, Today, I thought I'd tell you a bit about Dylan and his first gig that you might not know. And as usual, a little background first. All right, so in May of 1960, Dylan dropped out of the University of Minnesota. And in January of 61, he arrived in New York City. Now, Bob had a few reasons for picking Manhattan. He'd been performing in local folk clubs but wanted more, and the folk scene in Grand Edge Village, in the West Village during those years, uh, would certainly provide that. But almost more important to Bob was the fact that New York City was very close to where his idol, Woody Guthrie, was laid up in a hospital. The hospital happened to be in New Jersey, not very far from New York City. Now, Guthrie had been a revelation to Dylan and influenced his early performances. According to Bob, the songs themselves had the infinite sweep of humanity in them. He was the true voice of the American spirit. I said to myself, I was going to be Guthrie's greatest disciple. <laughs> now, Woody had the neurological disease Huntington's Korea, which had already progressed to the point where he was mostly living hospital to hospital. Dylan found him, found the hospital that he was in, and Dylan and Woody got along quite well. And after that first visit, Bob continued to visit Woody weekly if possible, and if not, as often as he could. Now, from February 1961, Dylan played at clubs around Greenwich Village and he befriended and picked up material from all the different folk singers that were playing there, like Dave Van Ronk and Fred Neal, Odetta, the new Lost City Ramblers, and Irish musicians, the Clancy Brothers and Tommy Makeham. And Dylan would often accompany the other musicians on harmonica back then. All right, now what? During one of Bob's visits to Guthrie, another friend of Woody's, a fairly well-known folk singer named Logan English showed up with his wife, Barbara. Now, as Barbara remembered it, they were all sitting around when Woody looked over to the kid sitting in the corner of the room and said something like, play something. <laughs> now, of course, the kid sitting in the corner of the room was Bob Dylan. Now, Dylan played, I don't know what he played, and of course, Logan was incredibly impressed and immediately said, I'm working at Gertie's, I'm the MC. We'll get you to play there. And that's all it took. The next Tuesday night, April 11th, Bob was on the bill. Now, Dylan was good enough that they invited him back to play in September, which got him a good review in the New York Times. That same month, Dylan played harmonica on folk singer Carolyn Hester's third album, bringing him to the attention of the album's producer, the famous John Hammond. And as we all know, Hammond was the one who signed Dylan to Columbia Records. All right. Now, I can't talk about Bob Dylan without telling a little a local story. Of course, you all know Bob Dylan lived in Woodstock for a time, okay? And he started coming up here, actually, in the mid-60s. And... At one point, he rented a room on the main drag above what was then called Cafe Espresso. Now, another folk singer friend of his from the clubs in the village named John Harold was also living up here at the time, and he remembered Dylan from those days. <laughs> and according to Harold, Dylan had just gotten an acetate of like a Rolling Stone, and he was so excited, he wanted everyone to hear it. Anybody he knew who would pass by the Cafe Espresso, he would run out and say, I've got this great new song. It's going to be really big. You've got to hear it. Then he would take them inside and play it for them. You know, how about that, right? 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was when Dylan was quite accessible, <laughs> obviously, before he became real famous. But uh, what can you say about Bob Dylan? I mean, Dylan is Dylan, and he'll always be Dylan. And I hope he's around for a whole lot uh, more time. All right, that's my story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's play it again. I'll have more stories as the days go on. You know where to find me around the internet, and as I always like to tell you, always remember to keep on rocking. All right, bye for now, and have a great Memorial Day weekend if you're celebrating.